Good morning, and welcome back for another week in case this is a two-parter. If not, well, welcome back to the next day. We are now leaving camp, and we are headed to the Georgia Hot Springs. Uh, there are multiple river crossings, and it is cold water that is being slowly treaded through at the moment. By the way, I didn't bring it back. Oh, I have my backpack. My backpack. You want to? Uh, you want to be in this trail? No, no, it's okay. We got plenty of river crossings. Oh, Bindi. Oh, look at Bindi. It's so cute. We're going to put the camera away so I don't fall. Haha. -ha. First river crossing success. None of us fell. We we got through it. And it is cold. Uh, from our camp where the first river crossing is at to the springs, it is labeled. It's gonna be about four miles there, four miles back. So we do eight miles. Not bad. It's gonna be a good day. Uh, so if you're hiking out here, camping out here, when you're crossing rivers, it is good to know that you should probably hit the river crossings earlier in the morning. It will be lower water levels, safer for you. If you're going to be crossing rivers, always call your ranger stations and check what your levels are because if you've increased snow like we have, the waters were much higher for much longer than normal. So better be safe than sorry. Yeah. And Ed's probably behind me laughing at me talking to the camera. <laughs> uh, I don't remember how many river crossings there are. 15? 15? 14. 14? 14, 14, you know, we're gonna find out. But we're going further into the canyon, yeah! Booyah! On to crossing number four or five. We're on five, crossing five. I think it's crossing number five. We're just counting for shits and giggles. Taylor's curious, he's getting number. This one doesn't look as high. I'm gonna keep the camera running. Hopefully, don't regret it. Crossing number seven of 15, two. All right, crossed number 13. You guys are uh, getting some rocks out of their sacks. Yeah. We've only had a couple incidents where small people fell over a little bit. We had a human line, so they were caught. They didn't get swept away. You're how tall? Five foot. Laura? Five one. And it's getting up to your waist? Yeah. Uh, yeah, about. Yeah, about. Not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, not, not, not too bad. I, mine's not accurate because I dunked my whole right side of my body in the water. But, Fair. you know. <laughs> and Bindi's even keeping up. She's getting carried a little bit, but, you know. Taylor has practice.
We have made it to the Jordan Hot Springs. Cute little pools, beautifully clear water. Ed's showing me his ass. <laughs> Ed? Ed. <laughs> Good times are had. Josh doing that? Just the end bit of it. <laughs> How would you describe the temperature, sir? Warm. Warm. Actually pretty warm compared to how they were describing. Of course, we also were just crossing rivers that were ice cold. It so, it helps. Oh, I feel f***ing fantastic. Mm -hmm. Ah. Slippery rocks covered in algae of primitive origin. Ah. Oh, f***. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Thank you. Dude, my nuts were freezing crossing that shit. Why do we never get my nuts? Oh. And season four blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> Just pull this for men and only men. All you gotta do is the back wing, catch the water, and then you gotta cut. <laughs> oh. That feels better, this is better than you said it was. It was super windy last time, so. Oh, uh, okay. Right. We have hung out for a while, ate some lunch, relaxed, enjoyed beautiful, beautiful nature. Thank you, New Mexico. Uh, and it is now time to roll back towards the camp before, you know, water levels get higher in the late afternoon, that kind of thing. And we chill at camp. And we will finish our tent tours once we get back to camp as well. Yes. Do you have fun? Yes. Yeah. I'm so relaxed right now. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's We have made it back to the camp. And Tatiana went to go pee, and she thinks she found a snake. I did. She found a snake? It keeps moving and scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> it's a pro. I saw it. It's already scared me twice. No, three times. No. Are you sure it's not under the log? Uh, a ribbon snake. A ribbon snake? Which one? Down there. Mm. Yeah, 
song. Well, we're back. We have made it back. We got through all the crossings. None of us floated away. Taylor might have sunburn on his arms, but you know, <laughs> the rest of us were in sun shirts and stuff. But no, it was a good time. Now we are back at camp. It is time to dry off our feet. He tripped on a, on a, on a tree. Uh, yeah, dry our socks out, put some dry ones on, and just chill and enjoy the afternoon. Oh, we'll get to new tent, the tent tours, I guess. One type of stove. Two type of stove. Three type of stove. Because why not? <laughs> it's, uh, it's dinner time though. What, are, what do you have for dinner? Uh, sour cream and chive instant mashed potatoes mixed with Macaroni. Easy Mac Cheetos flavored hmm. and pepperoni. That, that's a dinner. The Diabetes Supreme. <laughs> Interesting combination. What about you? Yellow curry. Mm -hmm. Ow. Wow, way to go, dumbass. <laughs> and then we. <laughs> it never gets hot. And then we, tonight, because Josh is awesome and is also helping me navigate diets, uh, he made dehydrated homemade soup for backpacking. We're gonna try this out. What is the flavor again? Potato soup. Potato, ham, and ham. Or not ham. Uh, potato, uh, celery, and potato soup. <laughs> it's potato soup. Potato Wait, soup. Does it have ham or not? No. No. No ham. How dare you? <laughs> so, we have encountered nature at its finest. There are these like little red bugs that have uh, decided to make a home on our tents and in our tents. I don't know if you can see them. But they are also inner tents because they are so tiny they can go through the mesh. So, heads up if you're camping here. I think they're attracted to sun and heat. If you can get your tent in a location that doesn't really get hit in this with a lot of sun, which is gonna be a bummer if you're trying to stay warm, but it seems like they, they like the sun. And if you're not in the sun, you're in heavy shade, because like Taylor them, no issue. We've been in the sun. No. Yeah. Just uh just no, heads up. So while we let the soup soak, reabsorb, rehydrate, we're gonna continue those promised tent tours. Next up on tent tours is Jaws. Howdy, howdy, y'all. All right, buddy, what are we working with? So I'm rocking the Kelty Bush Creek One tent. It's a pretty thin one-person tent, but if you're if you don't have a lot of gear, it's perfect. But if you got a lot of stuff with you, I would recommend it because it's kind of tight. I'm also rocking. A circa 1990. Kelty backpack. Oh, the Kelty setup. Could we say that Kelty might be your favorite brand? Oh yeah. I even have a Kelty uh, blanket at home. In here we have the REI Zephyr. Nice. It's the 20 degree. The Sherpa charger with my bits and bob wires. Bits and bob wires. The sun contained in one flashlight. Oh yeah, that thing's super the bright last night. Phoenix HM61R. If you so need something just to light up an entire room or an entire wall of a cave, yes. it'll kill you. It is bright. And then I'm rocking the Thermarest Neo Air Light. Mm. This thing is just super, super light. Very oh. nice, very nice. And I got some samples. We got little mm -hmm. spider here. Her request of Molly. <laughs> Bring her back specimens. Oh yeah. But that's it. That's my stuff. Very nice. And, and what's what's actually over? Oh yeah. Stashed. So this is my hidden stash of like spices because you gotta have those when you're in the woods. You gotta have. He flavor. cooks a lot. You should go check out his channel or First yeah day. channel page. Yes. Yes. Tell him what is the name of your page. Beast on beast. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> feasting Beast. Uh, check out the Feasting Beast YouTube channel. And Google it. Okay, see. We got first aid kit. Go back in here. We got first aid kit. We got a cover for the tarp or like a tarp cover if you need it. We'll set it up over a table or anything. We got the ever so nice CTR hat. Covers your neck and ears. No sunburns. Headband. Gotta have it. Keep the sweat out. Food bag. I overpack as usual. That's but usual. I do too. Food I get place. hungry a lot. Towel. Gotta love the Neomatics towels. Mm -hmm. They dry super quickly. You all know what that's for. <laughs> JBL speaker. Gotta have tunes in the woods. We're we're, we're courteous though, neighbors. And a sweater. Perfect. All right. Oh, and he's also got. Tevis. Oh, yeah. Tevis, whatever. Circa 1990 Tevas. 1990 The old school. Oh. Next up on our tent tours is Taylor. What do we got, buddy? We've got the big MS covers for HVUL2. Well, very spacey. How much does it weigh? Ooh, three pounds. Three pounds? Five pounds something like that. In his defense, he also has a dog with him, so he does need a little extra room, no more than himself. Yes. Alright, what are we sleeping with? Uh, we have the Disco the, by Nemo, the Disco 15, and for my uh, support is going to be the Helinox Light Cot. Mm -hmm. Is that your pillow? That is my makeshift pillow. Yeah, the clothing bag, yes. Not bad, simple, easy. And then what, what pack do we got? I have the Mystery Ranch Terra Venture 55 liter. Mm -hmm. External frame. How do you like it? I like it a lot. At mm -hmm. first, I wasn't sure about the, the fitting, mm -hmm. but now, but now after using it, I think it'll be my main pack. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Hey, oh, oh, you have a chair. What, what chair are you having? Big Agnes Ultralight Stool. Mm. Pros, um, cons? Pros, it's lighter than the Flex Light Air and the Helinox. The chair zero, mm -hmm. but the con is it doesn't have a back piece, so I don't get much. No back, back support. support. No. Bummer. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And then Bindi has her little. She's got a rough wear insulated jacket as well as a harness. And she's a rough wear bowl. And a rough wear collapsible trail bowl. Showing back here behind the tent right now. We have a, a nice little line for her. Good job, Taylor. Good job. So for the next tent tour, it's not really a tent tour. It is Shea Greg in his hammock tour. Yes, we have a hammock camper this time. This is Greg. All right, buddy. What do we got? What are we working with? So, here it is. The, um, what kind of hammock do you have? Chateau, as it were. It's an Eno double nest uh, mm -hmm. strung up with um, we have eight millimeter cord that I can for the purpose this trip. Uh, tarp is REI's ultralight tarp, but I mean it could be any ultralight tarp. Mm -hmm. um, and on the other side, you see my dirty underwear. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sleeping bag do we have? We've got the Halo 20, also from REI, from Days Oyor, and then we've got a. Who made that? I forget who made the liner bag. Lightweight fleece liner bag from somebody. Yeah. Pretty cozy, um, keeps pretty warm. Usually we've got the Big Agnes pad that you guys saw me sitting on before in here to oh, right, right. insulate the bottom. Um, I mean, being off the ground probably helps. Actually, it could stand, you know, you really want an under quilt for this oh, sort of thing, okay. uh, if you're really going to do it upright. Good to know, good um, to know. So it's, I mean, it works. Are you, it's you cold? a little bit of a chilly night's sleep. I'm also not much of a back sleeper. Mm -hmm. So nice. even putting things asymmetrically so that you're lying more or less on your back doesn't quite cut the mustard as well as I personally would like. And then getting in and out of it? I've there set this go. a little high. Um, be good to have it. Maybe a foot lower, but that way I can, you know, fix the ground if I really need to. Mm -hmm. But, um, this is it. 
Nice. Very nice. I dig it. Yeah. And that is Shea Greg. <laughs> All right, you have gotten the tent to us. And I ate my dinner. Really good soup. He made potato soup, rehydrated. Had, you could taste the potato and you put bacon in it and the celery. Oh, that was phenomenal soup. And the cleanup, easy. Rinse out, didn't stick or anything. Super simple cleanup, which is always nice when you're tired at the end of your, your day hiking. And now we are uh, winding down we still got to probably like another hour of sunlight, but I think we're all a little <clears throat> wiped from the hike. <clears throat> Crossing those rivers definitely takes a little bit out of you. I think I just want to relax the rest of the afternoon. Not, not a bad thing. Enjoy the views before we have to hike out tomorrow. And all of us work on Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you'll see that uh, following this clip. Because, uh, yeah, tomorrow's hike out. Yeah! Good times, good times. Oh, and we are dubbing this campsite Penis Rock Campsite. Penis Rock Camp. Because. That guy, right there. Perfectly shaped like a penis. Dick. Dick Rock Camp. Dick Rock Camp. Yep, that's where we're at. That is what we're camping this camp now. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs> It is Thursday morning and it is time for us to head out. We have packed up our camp. We made sure that we left no trace. All trash is picked up. Uh, and uh, yeah, time to time to go back to civilization, sadly. But you know, it's kind of part of the deal. I got Ed with me. The other part of the group already started going. I'm slow. Ha. Tortoise, activate. Yeah, time to head out. We are already halfway out. We're out of the canyon. Uh, so yesterday when I was talking about how no one had any falls or got injured while we were crossing the rivers, well, I was in the back of the group. Apparently ahead of us, Taylor unfortunately uh, did have a biff moment. He was carrying Bindi across the river and he fell and landed on his knees. They aren't as swollen as yesterday, but uh, they're, they're pretty, pretty bruised. Bind Bindi's okay though. That's, that's what matters. Bendy's is okay. But the dogs are more important, right? I that's held her bad. above the water, so she's fine. Exactly. <laughs> so there was one teen. And, and Tatiana did have a little slip on the way in, but that's not river, so I don't I count that. I tripped and Laura. fell in the river. Laura. Oh, right. Laura, Sorry. Yeah. Laura Josh. tripped and fell in the river. Yeah, Josh caught me. Josh caught her. I, I also will, tripped I and busted my shit times, with my sock. But Greg caught me. Times. We're the saviors. To, to be yeah. fair, Tatiana is very teeny, so the currents were a little harder for her than some of us. 
and and Laura is a little short too. So I was fine up until that one time. Fucking number twelve. Fucking number twelve. <laughs> Not number twelve. Not number twelve. Oh, Laura. Yeah, that was pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> we're all alive though, and we're on our way out. Ow. <laughs> We made it out alive! Woo! Woo! We lived to hack another day. We lived to hack another day, yes. Now I got to be my Oh yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. So we made it out. Thoughts? Feelings? Fun. How'd you think of your first backpacking trip? It was fun. My shoulders <laughs> hurt, bro. <laughs> Had the time of my life. Yeah. Taylor? It was better this time than last time. Okay. Except for carrying the baby. Ed? A few snakes, a few lizards, all good. Bindi? Bindi? <laughs> <laughs> I had a blast. I enjoyed it. Good times were had. Yes. <laughs> good views, good nature. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Not about the good friends. Ain't good friends? Hey, 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 mm -hmm. sorry. Good friends, good views, good nature. Yes. It checked off all the marks for a perfect backpacking trip. But uh, now it is time for us to pack out. Well, we already packed out. To pack up and head out and uh, go back to the Albuquerque. And go to work tomorrow. And go to work tomorrow. All of us work tomorrow. All of us work tomorrow, yes, yes. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and follow along for more adventures because as always, there will be more, I promise. And until the next one. Oh, you know what I just realized? You didn't do an intro. No, no I did an intro. We've been backpacking this whole weekend, or week, a few days. Makes me wonder how Nick's doing. You remember Nick, right? Oh, yeah. Nick. Yeah? I wonder how he's doing on the PCT. Yeah. Sure he's probably rocking it. Yeah, he's probably rocking it. Flamboyant as, as always. Correct. Flamboyant as always, yes. Correct. Yes, yes. Yeah. Till the next one. You guys have a good one. Later. <laughs>